Hello everybody and we are going to be playing a new game on the channel, Pokemon Trading Card Game for the Game Boy Color. I uh, remember this game as a kid, played it all the time and still play it to this day. In fact here is my uh, last game that I was doing really not that long ago. But uh, we're going to start a new game. Alright. And then for our name, of course. Fox is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. One day, Fox heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card game's greatest players. The Grand Masters are searching for the one to inherit the legend. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Fox visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. Oh, why the rush, Fox? What? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? So you too finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with the practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck, and now you need to need an opponent. Hey Sam, play with him for a while. <clears throat> yes, Dr. Mason. Hello, Fox. Okay, let's give it a try. Alright, so this is just a tutorial uh, card duel that we're going to be doing. Just going to teach you the, the basics on, on how to play. I'm gonna skip through much of this uh, tutorial conversation also my uh, neighbor's dogs are out barking I don't know if you guys can hear that and I apologize if you do all right so let's start up with this uh, practice game see in this this practice game here is is fixed. So all the all the cards are in place there for for a certain reason for each turn, just to explain to you the mechanics of the game. So we're gonna put uh, Goldine up. And star you on the bench. should be the one that goes first. Like I said it's it's a fixed match. Alright, to use the attack command we need to attach some energy cards to our Pokemon. Choose cards from the menu and select water energy card. Just choose your active Pokemon Goldine and put the water energy card on him. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm... Skip, skip, skip. Okay, so we'll put the water energy card on Goldine. So now Goldine can use Horn Attack. So this this game's probably got one of the best soundtracks for a Pokemon game, in my honest opinion. I could just I could just listen to these song tracks all day long. Right, so now we need to evolve Golding into Sea King. Right, and we're gonna give him another energy card, so now we can use waterfall. We have to do it his way, so we have to use the Psychic Energy card. Right, but now we can use Waterfall. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, this this part's a little a little boring because the game just wants to make sure you know how to play the card game, which is fine. I mean, it's a nice tutorial. card on star you and we're gonna attack chomp again all right so we took down one of his cards so now we get to pick a prize card and then the winner is the one who gets all the prize cards um or uh oh well, yeah just basically the winner is whoever picks up all the prize cards there's there's other ways that can determine whether you win or lose like if you don't have any more cards to draw out of your deck or if you're out of Pokemon on your bench to play right, so now we gotta take Drowsy from our hand put him on the bench and attach a energy card to Drowsy and FC can use Waterfall Kate's going to take out our Seeking. Now we have to pick a Pokemon from our bench to replace Seeking. So we're going to pick Star U, of course. So that's what it tells us to do. Now we have to get Staryu ready to evolve into Starmie, so we have to get another Water Energy card on him. And then we're going to attack with Slap. Potion on Staryu and attach another water energy card to him and attack with Slap. done with the tutorial duel. Almost done with it. Then we can get into the real game. And so we gotta evolve Star You into Star Me. And then we gotta use Star Freeze. Okay. to see if we paralyze Machop, which we do. Now I think there's a way to manipulate the coin flips. Um, obviously not in this this duel because this one's a fixed one of course. But in, uh, in the other ones, I think there is a way you can manipulate the coin so it's always going to be like a heads or a tails. Uh, I'm not too sure how to do that and I'm not going to be doing that. I think that would honestly just take the fun away from it. Alright, so now we have to do what? Attack with another Star Freeze. Okay. So let me just hit with another Star Freeze. Don't matter if we get this paralyzed check or not.
Now we can take our last prize card, and that will end the duel. And that is basically, in a nutshell, how the game is played. Sorry if I didn't explain it too, too much. Just I, I'm so used to the card game, so I already know all the, all the rules and how to play it in that. At least the, uh, the old, old way that the card game was done. I, I'm not too sure about nowadays. So now we get to pick our starting deck, and see here's the uh, Squirrel and Friends deck. That's pretty much if you're new to the game and you're just learning and you want a more easy run through of it. Um, Bulbasaur deck's a pretty good one, but the Charmander deck that one's going to be harder because most of the fire type. Pokemon cards in this game, you have to sacrifice energy cards for them to do an attack. So, I think I think we'll do the Charmander and friends just for a bit more of a challenge. Okay, so let me show you the lab real quick. I guess if you hold the B button down, you can already run. Love it when you start off with the ability to run. But this guy right here, you can talk to him and duel him. And if you win, you'll, you'll get a booster pack. If you win in any duel, you get a booster pack. But with this guy, if you win in a... Uh, duel with him the booster pack you get will only contain energy cards But you can choose what kind of deck you want to go up against So since we have a fire deck uh, We'd be better off doing dueling against his grass psychic deck But we're we're not going to duel him uh, This machine right here is the deck save machine. So when you build the deck you can save it here and Use it for later as long as you have uh, have the cards with you, and then this is the build a deck machine, to where it builds decks that you've uh, you've acquired, and I think you get more decks unlocked with more club metal medals that you get, and the clubs they kind of work as the uh, the gems in like the standard Pokemon games. And then over here, we can duel Sam again. And we can do it in a normal battle, which will be the same deck as we uh, did for the tutorial. But uh, if you win in a duel with him, you will also get a booster pack containing nothing but energy cards. And it's, it's actually a very good idea to stock up on energy cards as early as you can. But before you do that, there is a guy here in the fire club. So we're just going to run here real quick. Well, getting the fire metal wasn't that hard. If I keep this up, I should be able to get the legendary Pokemon cards. What? It's you, Fox. What are you doing? Huh? That's a deck. Are you trying to get the legendary Pokemon cards? Yeah. What? I can't believe it. You, the legendary Pokemon cards? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, listen up. I'll teach you what it's what it's about to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. You must defeat the eight club masters and get the eight medals. Then you have to go to the Pokemon Dome and defeat all four of the Grand Masters there. <clears throat> like the Elite Four. There's no way you can do it. You might as well just give up and go home. Because the legendary Pokemon cards are going to be mine. I already won the first medal. See ya, Fox. <laughs> and that was our rival, Roland. Yeah. All right, so there is a guy in here. Yes, this one right here. Oh. 
Oh, we can't do that quite yet. Okay, I guess I'll need some more energy cards. So, if we go back to the laboratory and we duel Sam some more and get a bunch more energy cards, and we're going to come to this guy and we're going to give him those cards. So, what I am going to be doing in between the next, you know, in between for the next episode is I'm going to actually go back, duel Sam some, and I am going to go back to the fire club and we're going to give that guy some energy cards. So, until the next one, bye.